All right. So the Super Eagles of Nigeria are set to face Arcelor of Portugal in a pre-World Cup friendly match. Now, of course, sadly, the Super Eagles will not participate in the upcoming World Cup in Qatar, but this is an opportunity for the team to put a little bit of a smile on our faces. Before we get more into detail, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. So yeah, the Super Eagles will face Portugal tomorrow, the 17th of November, and it will be played at the Estadio. Adel Jose Alvalade in Lisbon, Portugal. Time of the match will be 7.45 p.m. in Nigeria. Now, Portugal is basically using this match to get prepared for their first match of the World Cup, which will be against the Black Stars of Ghana. But going into this match, the talk is going to be about one man and one man only, Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's because, first of all, he's Cristiano Ronaldo. You're always going to be talking about a guy like that. But the main issue at hand right now is the interview that was released. He called out his club in general, called out the coach, called out the owner of the club. He basically said things we've all heard before about Manchester United, Angel Di Maria, Jose Mourinho. They've all said these kind of things about Manchester United. But the difference right now is Cristiano Ronaldo is a Manchester United legend and he's also a part of the Manchester United team at the moment. Now if he had made this comment while he was still with Manchester United and they maybe had like two or three more games to play, he definitely won't be playing any of those games. He might not even be in the squad for those games, but now he's with Portugal. He's the captain of Portugal. He's surely going to be coming out first, leading his team out. Everybody's going to want to see that moment. A lot of people are going to watch this game. A lot of people that don't even follow football. A lot of people that don't follow Portugal or Nigeria. They're going to be here to watch this game. This is probably going to be one of the most viewed games the Super Eagles have played in ever. Because this is a match that a lot of people are going to come to watch for different reasons. Now that being said, Portugal is definitely not only about Ronaldo. They have a plethora of top class players. Guys like Bernardo Silva, Bruno Fernandes. Yes. Jao Cancelo, Ruben Diaz, William Carvalho. They have a whole bunch of good players on their team. But the question now is, will they be able to focus on the game and even the World Cup coming up with all these situations swirling around their team? Cristiano Ronaldo. Then you have Bruno Fernandes getting into an issue with Cristiano Ronaldo. Might have been a media made up issue. As you see on your screen, not the friendliest handshake between Cristiano Ronaldo and Bruno Bruno Fernandez, as we know Bruno Fernandez, the vice captain of Manchester United and Cristiano Ronaldo makes those comments about Manchester United. He probably didn't know how to respond to Cristiano Ronaldo. In these type of situations, there's only one of two things that can happen. Either they're disjointed and torn apart by the situation going on right now or they come together and play some good football. It's either one or the other and we're hoping that they're going to be disjointed when they play the Super Eagles tomorrow. Now when it comes to the Super Eagles, of course we know Victor Seaman dropped a bombshell on us. He's not going to be part of this friendly, which is just okay. We do have enough in that department to cover. We have Taryn Murphy who has scored 10 goals in the French top flight and we also have Paul Odoachu who has scored 13 in Belgium. Belgium, so we definitely not complaining about a striker missing in this situation. Plus, I must add that if Victor Simon ends up winning the league title in Italy this season, it's a win for all of us. Now, for me, the question marks coming into this game will be from the defense and the goalkeeping department. William Truce, Ekong, and Calvin Bassi are the only two defenders who are regular starters for the team. You also have Kevin Akboguma, who started the last match against Algeria. Ebu Duru of Rivers United will be the second left back. That means if Calvin Bassi does play as a central defender, Ebu Duru might be playing at the left back. Bruno Onye Maechi and Bright Osai Samuel are the new players in the team, and we'll have to see how they fit into the defense. 
Then in the goalkeeping department, I'm pretty sure Francis Uzaho is going to be starting in the game. He has been a regular starter for his team coming into this friendly match. And he also had that big performance against Manchester United. So my bet would be that he would be the starter on the day. Now when it comes to the midfielders, the one player that I'm sure will be starting will be Alex Iwobi. Has started every single match for the coach since he has taken the job. We also have Wilfred Ndidi who should should be a short starter but then there was the report that the coach asked him to play as a defender during the last camp so we'll have to see when the match starts with that Frank Onyeka started the last match against Algeria not sure if he's going to be starting this match you also have Joel Rebo and Ogan and Kyra Etibar regulars for the team so not too sure who's going to be in the starting lineup tomorrow on the midfield apart from Alex Iwobi to be honest then when you come to the forwards I'm pretty sure Moses Simon is gonna start then you have Ademala Lukman who is really the most informed player coming into this camp probably him and Paul Onuachu but I think Terry Murphy will get the start he scored the goal in the last match even though Paul Onuachu seems to have found his soap once again he has scored like 13 goals in the last seven matches of course Samuel Chukweze also going to be available the only left footed forward so that's always going to set him apart so yeah Super Eagles of Nigeria will We'll be taking on Arcelor of Portugal tomorrow in a friendly match. The match will start at 7:45 p.m. in Nigeria, and it will be played in Lisbon, Portugal. Let me know what you guys think about the match. What are your predictions? Put them in the comment section, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.